Hey happy homemakers, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a super cozy fall evening routine. I'm gonna be sharing a really delicious dinner recipe that I like to make for my family when I'm really craving comfort food, but I still wanna be healthy. I'm also gonna walk you through my toddler's bedtime routine, as well as how I like to get cozy on chilly evenings, which will include a turmeric latte recipe. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that and say hello down in the comments. My channel is all about joyful motherhood, natural living, and an orderly and peaceful home. And I I don't want you to miss out on any of my upcoming videos so make sure you hit that notification bell as well. So our evening routine typically starts with us doing something fun together. After their nap time in the afternoon, we like to head outdoors, either in the backyard, the park, or take a walk. And today we played in a parking lot that is near our house and the kids just had so much fun. It was perfect sweater weather. There were leaves all over the floor and it just put me in such a fall mood. There's just something that makes me really happy about the fall season and this night was just perfect. About 5.30 we decided to head home so that I could get dinner started on time. So when we walked in the house I just took the kids rain boots off and my own shoes and put on my cozy house slippers. walk I had prepared a spaghetti squash to be roasting in the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes so to prepare that I just cut it in half lengthwise and then scooped all the seeds out with a spoon and Daniel was home at that point he was just still busy so I was able to leave the oven on which was really nice if you guys have never tried spaghetti squash, it is so, so good. I'm not a huge squash person, but I love this. Um, and to keep it from drying out in the oven, I like to just add about a, two teaspoons of oil to each of the halves, then rub it all around the inner surface, and then I add a little bit of salt and pepper to season it. And that is all there is to it. It is so easy to prepare. You could just serve it as is with a spaghetti sauce over it, or I've made it into lasagna before. But tonight, I'm gonna be making a spaghetti squash casserole with it that the whole family loves. So after our walk, it was time for me to start making the rest of the meal. And if daddy is home on time and not working outside, he will play with the kids while I finish dinner. But if he is busy, the easiest thing for me to do is have the kids watch a cartoon while I cook. So to get the casserole started, I'm just going to prep some more veggies. So I'm gonna start off by finely dicing a medium-sized onion, and this one is super tiny, but it's literally the last onion I had. So if you have a bigger one, that is perfect. I'm also gonna finely dice one red pepper. Any color will work. I just chop off the top, the sides, and then the bottom, and then finely dice it. The last veggie I'm going to add is a carrot. I'm just gonna shred it so that it cooks quickly. And you could honestly add mushrooms to this, a little celery, it is just so good. And you can just play around with the recipe and customize it for your family. After that, I'm just gonna add all my veggies to a medium saute pan that has about two teaspoons of oil in it. And then also I'm gonna dice one large chicken breast and then add that to the veggies as well. And just cook that until the chicken and veggies are done. And last, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to taste. And I almost forgot, but it's very important. You also wanna add one teaspoon of garlic powder. While that was cooking, my spaghetti squash was done. It turned out so lovely and all you do to make it into noodles, this is why it's called spaghetti squash. It's the most amazing thing to me. Um, but you're just gonna take a fork and then just kind of pull all the flesh of the squash away from the sides and it literally looks like spaghetti. It is so amazing and it tastes so good. After that, I'm just going to add about one cup of cheese and my spaghetti squash was huge. Um, so if you have a big one like me, maybe add a little bit more than one cup. Um, but I'm also going to add 
three quarters cup of Greek yogurt. And again, if you have a big spaghetti squash, add a little more. Um, and then you're just going to mix that around until it is all nice and creamy. You can make a white sauce and add mozzarella and Parmesan cheeses to it. But doing it this way, you kind of get the same effect, but it's a whole lot easier. To that, I'm gonna add the veggies and chicken and mix that up really well. I'm gonna sprinkle about half of a cup of shredded cheese on top and then also about half of a cup of breadcrumbs. I take all the heels of my bread, toast them, and then grind them up in my food processor and store them in a Ziploc bag in my freezer. So anytime I need to make something like this, I just have them ready. After that, I'm just going to put it in the oven with the broiler on high just until the top is nice and browned and bubbly. And that's only gonna be about 10 minutes because at this point, the casserole is already baked. You just want the cheese to melt. While it's cooking, I'm just gonna stay in the kitchen so that it doesn't burn and clean up a little bit so I don't have a lot of work after dinner and wipe down the counters using my Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray. Since the kids were still busy, I decided to take that time to unload the dishwasher because I hadn't gotten around to it earlier that day and I wanted to have some space to put my dinner dishes in. And you may notice that there are tons of pots and pans and lids in my dishwasher right now. And that's not because I have been doing a lot of cooking, that's because Chloe and Marcus had a lot of fun playing with all of them. Once it's emptied, I'm just gonna load it really quickly with whatever is in the sink. Once the spaghetti squash casserole was cooled down a little bit, I called the kids in for dinner and I did scorch the top a little bit, but not too bad. It was still really good. I like to serve this with peas and a roll, but tonight we just kept it simple with an arugula and avocado salad. While the kids were still busy, I quickly cleared the table from my work stuff and Chloe smelled dinner and she headed over to her plate and she kept picking food off of it while I was working. It was so cute. Dinner is usually around six o'clock tonight. It was about 6.30 when I finished, um, but that's okay. Um, and as much as we are able, we try to eat dinner as a family, but sometimes Daniel is a little busy working. Chloe and Marcus loved dinner, by the way. Chloe cleaned her plate and then kept asking for more and more avocado. And Marcus he kept telling me how good the dinner was and that he loved it. After that, it's time to start the kids' bedtime routine by giving them a bath, and this night I made a deal with Daniel that I would bathe them if he would clean up the kitchen, and he agreed to it, which is awesome. The kids absolutely love bath time, and I love fixing their hair funny whenever I shampoo it. The shampoo we've been using for a really long time is this one from Baby Gannix. It's the Good Night Shampoo and Body Wash, and the scent is meant to relax them and help them feel calm in the evening. After I bathe them, I let them play in the tub for about 15 minutes because they love bath time so much. On the counter, I just lay out some pajamas, a diaper for Chloe, and a pull-up for Murky. After the kids' bath time, I like to wrap them up in hooded towels because I think they're so cute and fun. This one was sent to me from Hip Hop Panda. They're sponsoring this portion of the video, and I really like it because it is so, so soft. It's made from organic bamboo, and it's only $15 on Amazon. I also like that it's a little bigger than the ones you find at Target, so it's the perfect size for the age Chloe is now, but it also dries her off and absorbs so much better, too. So I will add the link to the hooded towel in the description box below so you guys can find it there. They also have a really cute panda one as well. It, and Coco is so adorable in it. I think there's nothing sweeter than a freshly washed baby. So make sure you check it out after you watch this video. It is really so, so soft and it's a great price. 
once the kids are all dry and have jammies on it's time to brush their teeth and because Coco was teething it was just a lot easier to have her watching something on YouTube or Netflix while brushing her teeth because it just hurt her so much but she's not teething anymore so we need to steer away from that I, I try to only leave it on for about 10 or 15 minutes nowadays and then we go straight into a story sometimes we read the story in the kids bedroom sometimes we read it on the couch it just really depends on where we are at the time Coco is my story girl she really loves it when mommy reads her books but anyways we usually sit together with daddy and read a story before they go to bed Marky is still loving his passies. We are down to only giving it to him at bedtime, but we do need to take it away pretty soon. He's not gonna like that though. And every single night after we put him into bed, he always asks for a drink of water. Whether he's thirsty or not, he always just wants us to come back and bring him something. Once the kids are in bed for the night, it's time for me to try to wind down and relax for the evening. I try really hard not to work once they go down and just spend a little bit of time relaxing. So what I'm gonna do tonight to help me is make some ginger turmeric tea that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm just going to brew it in some hot water. And it is a caffeine-free tea, so it's great for at nighttime. And the turmeric is actually gonna help you um, sleep better. At least it really helps me. To it, I love to add about four drops of liquid stevia. And then I highly recommend adding a splash of any kind of milk, but I really love coconut milk in it. And that's all there is to it. I like to make golden milk as well, but this is just so quick and easy for those nights when I can't be bothered by that. Next, to set the mood, I'm just going to light my candles, which I can't do while the kids are awake. After that, it's time to set the mood by lighting some candles, which I can't do while the kids are awake. I like to get all my candles from Home Goods because I look for candles that don't have fragrances other than essential oils to them because it's just so much healthier for you. Um, but these two that I got for fall smell so, so good. One is pumpkin spice and one is white pumpkin. And then also to force myself to relax and not do any more work, I'm just gonna throw on some comfier clothes and grab a book. And the book I'm reading right now is called Grumpy Mom Takes a Holiday and it's by Valerie Warner. This book is so good. I'm only in chapter four, but I have gotten so, so much out of it. it is, this book is worth its weight in gold. It is a must read for any mom and I cannot recommend it enough. And as I was reading, I just realized how tired I was. I could have gone to bed right then. Whether it's been a good day or a bad day, I'm just always so exhausted at this point. At about 9.15, I decided to head to bed for the night, so I went into the bathroom to brush my teeth and do a little skincare routine. I'm using the Toms of Maine toothpaste right now. I like this one because it is on the healthier side. And to remove my makeup, I just used the Simple Micellar Water and a cotton round and just rubbed that all over my face. And it's also a cleanser, so I just repeat that again to cleanse my skin as well. And then for my nighttime skincare, I've been using the Plantscription Night Cream from Origins. It's a really good one. Sometimes lotions will make me break out, but this one is really nice. And then for my under eyes, I've been using the Murad Renewing Eye Cream, which I got in my Fat Fit Fun box. I'll have a link to the box down below because I've really discovered so many new products that I love from it. Another one is this aromatherapy roll-on. It's called Deep Relax. It smells so heavenly and relaxing. You can just roll it on your temples, on your wrists, and then just breathe in deeply, and it is so relaxing relaxing. I really love the scent. And that is the end of my cozy fall night routine. I hope you guys got some good ideas of what to make for dinner and other things from this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps my videos do so much better on YouTube and I really appreciate whenever you guys do. I hope you're all having a wonderful autumn wherever you are and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.